With the growing number of four-wheel drivers wanting to make their cash go further, we are seeing more and more people installing their own snorkels. While at Sherpa 4x4 we recommend that you look at getting your snorkel installed professionally, we felt that a video might help those of you out that just insist on doing it yourself. Today we are installing a snorkel onto a Nissan Patrol GU Series 3 ZD30. The install will be very similar for any of the Series 1, 2 or 3s. What you'll need is the following tools. An 86mm hole saw, a step drill or multiple drill bits up to 16mm, paintbrush and primer, tape, centre punch and hammer, urethane sealant such as Sikaflex, a pop rivet gun, a Dremel tool can also be incredibly beneficial, and small essentials such as a screwdriver and Stanley knife. The first step is to prep the vehicle. Start by removing the inner guard lining. This is attached with a number of screws and plastic clips. Next, remove the front indicator. Note that this has a long pin that needs to be removed before it will pop out. Next, jack up the car and remove the wheel followed by the aerial assembly. The air filter box is the next to go. It needs to be moved out of the way for ease of access further down the track. Finally, the factory air intake needs to be removed from the inner guard. Now we get on to actually installing it. Ensuring that the template is in the correct position is incredibly important. Line it up with the edge of the panel and tape it into position. It only needs to be there long enough to mark the guard, so no need to go crazy with the tape. Mark the panel with a permanent marker to indicate where the holes need to be drilled when the template is removed. Use a centre punch and hammer to lightly tap the panel to reduce the chances of the drill bit slipping when beginning to drill. Using a 4 or 5mm drill bit, drill a small pilot hole at each of the marked points. With a step drill, or a number of drill bits, drill the three holes for the studs to 16mm. You may be able to get away with smaller than 16mm, but this allows for any errors in the car, snorkel, or installer. Using the hole saw and the pilot holes, mark out and tape where you will be drilling. The tape helps to stop any drill slippage as well as any paint chipping or damage. Now it's time to really attack the car. Take the hole saw and drill the two 86mm holes where marked. Once the two holes are drilled, use a grinder or a Dremel tool to cut off the excess and clean up the edges. Now we'll get the snorkel ready for fitment. Insert the studs into the moulded threads using an allen key to tighten. A small amount of Loctite can be applied at this stage to assure the studs don't come loose. Mount the A-pillar bracket to the snorkel, only hand tightening the bolts. This allows the snorkel to be dry fitted and the holes for the A-pillar to be marked and drilled. Once marked and drilled, unattach the bracket from the snorkel and pop rivet it to the A-pillar. Before finally fitting the snorkel body, dab the edges of the new holes with a paint primer or a rust protection to help protect your vehicle from any unwanted rust in the future. Locate the snorkel in the drilled holes and tighten all the bolts. Insert the 90 degree bend through the guard panel where the airbox once was. For some installs, you may wish to add additional bolts between the airbox and this pipe. The inner guard pipe now needs to be installed. Push the two sleeves onto the appropriate ends of the pipe and place the hose clamps around. Slide the pipe up into the guard and clamp the hoses over the snorkel and the 90 degree pipe. To ensure that your snorkel is fully sealed, Apply a heat resistant seal to the airbox and replace the airbox. You'll also need to ensure that any drainage holes are also sealed. Attach the snorkel head and sit back and admire your handiwork. We thank you for watching the Sherpa 4x4 snorkel install video. If you have any questions on what you've seen or would like any information on any of our products, feel free to jump onto the website www.sherpa4x4.com.au.